November 19, 2015 is now part of McDonnell College history as it is a day the institution received its new technical wing. Equipped with seven laboratories, the building will be used to offer courses ranging from food and nutrition to electronics. Annette Moore has the details. Sometimes we think time periods like two seconds, two minutes, or even two years is a long time to wait for something we really need. Try two decades. That's how long one school in Mali, St. Patrick, has been hoping for a much needed upgrade. I've been waiting on my new wing to fly. With great anticipation, I can't wait to take to the step. Nothing happens until the wing is destined by the Almighty to happen. I was a student at McDonald College when I learned that we were supposed to get this building and it took 20 years for it to become a reality. So Although we're limited resources, my teachers have tried. When we initially started teaching technical subjects, we had to improvise. We removed our library and replaced it with the technical drawing room. Um, the storeroom of the food and um, of the talk shop for food and nutrition. They also managed to offer building technology. They were hot, they were crowded, so we had minimal students doing our technical subjects. The years went by, but McDonald College was not forgotten. The government of Grenada had a plan and continued to seek funding. In 2014, the OPEC Fund for International Development came to the rescue, pledging just under $9.1 million in funding for the addition of a technical block for McDonald College as part of the school rehabilitation project. Is it finished yet? I can't wait to cry. At the start of the Michaelmas term, the long-awaited day arrived and work commenced on the construction of a three-story laboratory block, located at the back of the current school structure. Well, the view I really like, the view, because when you go upstairs, you see everything down at the you know. I didn't thought it was it would have been so deep. Both the teachers, the students and myself, we were in eager anticipation. The block was completed in August of 2015. The McDonald College staff, students and well-wishers were thrilled by the handover of the new technical wing on Thursday, November 19, 2015. I am very ecstatic. Uh, it, it is a good initiative and the students here are very happy knowing that we will be able to enjoy new technical subjects. It, it is a very good feeling. Oh, I'm elated. Having this new building it's like coming out from bondage. You know, like the children of Israel, their freedom, we finally at the promised land. Then we take this opportunity to thank Kobe, our financing institution, Giancio Geology and Engineering Company, the contractors, and Vital Engineering and Consultants Limited, the consultants, for ensuring that this project was realized and realized on time. I must say, had talked to the Ministry of Education and a timely supply of teachers to facilitate the new addition to the curriculum. Came in now at an opportune time where CVQ is really going to start in Grenada. Barbados has already made it compulsory to write one skill area for the CISIC exam. We at the Ministry of Education therefore look forward to greater enrollment in the technical subjects at the CFC level and by extension improved performances. Having a state of the art building like this definitely will assist my students in going out there and doing their very best. The new block is comprised of seven laboratories. The new subject areas catered for are visual arts, home management, clothing and textiles, and electronics. And everyone is excited about the possibilities. The design of space is something that they're really looking forward to. I'm really excited of um, using the Arts and Craft Lab. Yeah, because I love Arts and Craft. We spoke to Selena, an athlete who was on a way to represent her school. I not have football today. But she had the time to express her thoughts about her new school facilities. I'm very excited. It's really nice. I can't wait. At the food and nutrition room, we have, you'll notice we have um, 
set out five areas. So you have like five students working at a time, especially when it's SBA time. Each student will have their separate space and that is so very good for the students. I said a kitchen area, F and N one. It's large, it has multiple sinks, multiple tables, so no one person can say that they don't have a table to work. It means that we can now cater for all of our students. In the past, we were able to cater more for the students who are academically inclined. Well, I would like to do art and craft and um, okay. Speaking about the new subject area home management, Best was excited. And the children will get a feel as to what more or less hotel life is like. So I think that subject will definitely increase in numbers. Other facilities include a classroom, an administration department, and male and female washrooms. The teachers have a better staff room because where they located, everybody was close by in the room again. So we're grateful for that. You have your space, you have your office, and that is so fantastic. You can relax, you can get ready for the next class without any hassle or problems. And safety was not sacrificed. I must commend them on well all the structures that I've seen in, especially those for safety. There are fire extinguishers in every room. You have um, the fire hose. While he awaits his induction into the force, he is looking forward to home management. I could come to school now and I got the feelings what I what I was doing. I could do it. I could do it in school as well. I think with that facility more males will have an interest in coming to do that subject. So they're quite excited and they feel as if they're on par with students from the US and other developed countries. To whom much is given, much is expected. We were so grateful that when we saw it, you know, everything just came to a day. No longer will it be necessary for students within the parish to journey to neighboring parishes to get state of the art technical secondary tuition. We can now provide it homegrown. I am confident that this school will take the lead and promote Tibet as lifelong. Tibet is critical for developed as well as developing countries, such as Benilo, if we are to achieve sustainable economic development. The recently completed TAMCC Science Block, the GBSS Technical and Administrative Block, together with the McDonnell College Technical Block, are valued in excess of $21.9 million. Other school rehabilitation projects are currently underway, including an $8.8 .8 million reconstruction of the Warburn Methodist and St. Mary's RC School, among other projects. Stay tuned as we keep you informed of continued improvements in the education sector. For State of Affairs, I'm Annette Moore.